Chinese researchers have turned to a cost-effective solution to counter the billion-dollar laser weapons being developed by the U.S. Scientists at the Beijing Institute of Technology are conducting experiments using boron phenolic resin BPR, a widely used material in high-stress environments. China, being the largest manufacturer of BPR globally, can produce 2.2 pounds one kilogram, of the material for just 7 yuan one United States dollar. This development poses a significant challenge to U.S. plans in the field. The U.S. has been actively working on laser weapons as the next generation of military technology, with the ability to be deployed on land, in water, and in the air. Laser weapons have proven successful in various deployments, showcasing results comparable to conventional missiles, as reported by Interesting Engineering. With the increasing use of low-cost drones in warfare, laser-based weapons have become an appealing option due to their affordability and the promise of unlimited ammunition, as long as there is a stable power supply. Going a step further, the U.S. aims to employ laser weapons to counter ballistic missiles. However, the Chinese research utilizing BPR threatens to hinder these U.S. plans significantly. BPR is a low-cost resin commonly used in industrial settings exposed to high temperatures and extreme conditions. Additionally, it finds military application as a heat protection layer on missiles and high-speed drones. Nevertheless, laser weapons can easily penetrate this coating within a matter of seconds. To address this vulnerability, the Chinese research team, led by Professor Gao Lihang from the Beijing Institute of Technology, has developed a composite called BPR-1. They incorporated inorganic compounds such as silicon carbide, zirconium dioxide, and carbon black nanopowder into the low-cost resin, all readily available in the market. In their experiments, the researchers applied a 0.1-inch mm coating of the newly developed BPR-1 and subjected it to a 15-second blast from a high-powered laser. The power density of the laser used was 500 watts per square centimeter, significantly more intense than the standard targeting level for ballistic missiles. Following the test, the back surface of the coating registered a temperature of 445 Fahrenheit, 230 degrees Celsius, well below the melting point of aerospace-grade aluminum, which is 752 Fahrenheit, 400 degrees Celsius. Moreover, the researchers observed the presence of molten glass-like material in the heat-affected zone, likely resulting from the added compounds in BPR-1. As the U.S. reportedly spends billions of dollars annually on laser weapons, the Chinese discovery presents an economical and effective means of countering this emerging technology. To enhance the power of lasers, further research and development are required, which could delay the U.S. deployment plans.